Most of my artwork recently has been digital, and it's been about the relations between Australia as a nation and China as a rising world superpower, very much in the ascendant. This work, made in 2013, shows the rejection of Afghan boat people by the Australian Supremes, John Howard, Tony Abbott, and of course Pauline Hanson. While in the background, a Chinese Trojan horse has delivered an invasion of Chinese musicians at the Parliament of Australia, all redecorated to include Chinese architectural features. There is a new dislike of the Chinese as China tries to exert influence in all levels of Australian life. And this is very much different to the White Australia policy that started with the Federation of Australia in 1901 which supposedly ended in 1973 with the formal adoption of the multicultural policy by the government of the day. It's not difficult to find evidence of racism against Asians still alive and well, in spite of a major shift from antipathy towards Asian boat people um, who first arrived by sea in 1976 um, to the first arrivals by boat people of refugees and asylum seekers from Middle Eastern countries in the late 90s. We are still told in the streets, particularly in the bigger centres like Sydney and Melbourne, to go back to where we came from. For people born in Australia, such as my three nieces, it's a very hurtful thing to hear. For my work in this exhibition, I've returned to the themes of the Chinese diaspora in Australia, cultural displacement, and the general continuing non-acceptance of non-European immigrants in some quarters. The work is about the plight of people who find no happiness after they have left their lives behind elsewhere to find refuge here. Well, what is my sense of place? I have to say, it's not a specific physical environment. It's really about a space in one's head. And I think that could be really quite powerful. One is neither here nor there if you are a person living in more than one culture at the same time. Who is the community that forms the matrix of my work? Obviously, the Chinese who have come here both several generations ago and new arrivals. But I could also say broadly, um, the foreign students at the university close to where I live, or the Nepalese, the Bhutanese or Africans who live in my neighborhood. My work is about them, not for them. It's for other people who are not them. It's always been my uh, intention to show the mainstream what it is to be like the other um, who are not in the majority. So here's my boat. I always start with digital drawings. Here is a migration of fish, front view, and then covered with Chinese joss paper and varnished. This is an important part of the concept, joss paper that you see here is actually ghost money. The Chinese send money to their dead relatives by burning joss paper. They are often paper effigies of worldly goods such as clothing, pans, and cars sent to the underworld to keep their late loved ones in luxury. My work often plays on clashing systems of cultural symbolism. This use of cross-cultural symbols is seen here in the boat. In Western culture, a symbol of a journey, an adventure. But my joss paper covered boat is a ghost boat headed for hell. Similarly, the use of the carp. In Chinese, this means good things, including wealth, luck, love and friendship. During times of celebration, Chinese lanterns often come in the shape of a carp. In Australia, however, the carp is seen as an unwanted introduced species pest to be eliminated. My carp are therefore doomed. The cloth of paper of covering celebratory carp lantern is now a mere skeleton wrapped in joss paper. In this image, you can see both the skeletal fish made of copper wire 
and a doomed cup wrapped in joss paper. At this point, I still have to resolve how the insulation will work, placing the fish on rods and holding them in place in the boat. A challenge. Here's my studio, added onto the back of the garage, with a Rosalie Gascoigne-inspired frontage. It's a dry studio. I have my large heat press in an adjoining room. And here in the garage, possibly a future wet studio for textile work.